Brawlers, welcome back to Dummy Nation. Today we're going to be playing from one of the countries on our list of most upvoted countries, which is Israel. Now, Israel starts off as the 29th best GDP. It has a very, very unfortunately bad GDP per capita, 17th overall. Military power, 17th. Defensive power, 17th. How is our diplomacy? We have friends in Italy and Austria, which aren't going to do us a lot. United States is also our ally, so that is very big for us. Now, in terms of troops, we've got a good amount. We got 10 million, which is very nice and refreshing to see after San Marino. I'm going to go ahead and switch, though, from democracy to autocracy. Well, hold on. What is your political freedom, Syria? You're 199. Ours is 75. We're going to keep this a little bit. We're going to gain some political will from attacking Syria. But let's go ahead and get some troops out there. We've got six million in the bank to spend. That is very, that's so much money. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna bank the rest of our money for the time being. We're gonna put three points in the combat training, three points into reactive armor. We need to grab territory before we start spending our money. And the reason why is it's so expensive because our GDP per capita is so high that it really is not gonna do us any favors. To use that money now so let's go ahead and attack someone who's got a lower gdp per capita which is 181 in syria and let's just immediately start to attack them right away and now this will anger the arab league because syria is a part of that well first we have to fight down their army which is of no consequence to us we'll lose some troops along the way but we need this land in order to start building a military of our own actually syria is not part of the arab league oh great okay good so let's just continue onwards all right, Syria's done. That raised our GDP per capita to 62. Great. Now let's start spending some money. You can see a huge discount right away. We get more troops for less money. That's always a good thing to see. Let's go ahead and get two units of commandos, a unit of gunners. I want 3K tanks. I want 2K rockets. And then probably we're just going to fill out on another unit of gunners. Let's get two more units of gunners and then... 175 of commandos that'll be a nice military for us let's go home for the time being and wait for that military to rise up now did that affect our diplomacy with anyone no it didn't although we could get an alliance with france what about germany yeah we're very close to france and germany so attacking syria was really good for us on that front corgi is iran oh, iran's at war with you are they they are that's a peace. that's a cheap peace treaty so let's go ahead and get that done that might cheapen up no it didn't it actually made it more expensive lol I was thinking that would cheapen up the peace treaties with France and Germany. Okay, but let's start securing some alliances. We can get one with France, and I think we can get one with Germany right afterwards. We need a little bit more for Germany, but that's okay. We have another friend along the way. How's our diplomacy looking? If we take a look at ourselves. Good, we've got that. You can see the dark greens are people who are like ready to become friends with us. They just need a little bit of money. And I would love to participate for the scramble of Africa, but unfortunately it's going to be a little bit tough. Iran is falling. Or Turkey's at least invading Iran. We could get over there through Iraq if we wanted to, but let's go ahead and wait for our giant military to come through. Yeah, missing out on all of Iran's gonna be tough. Hopefully the USA will not grab too much territory over here. How's Algeria's troops looking? Strong. Morocco, weaker. Iraq, which one's better? Iraq or Morocco? Iraq's better. All right, troops are back. Let's set our sights on Iraq. This will anger a lot of the Arab League. I'm not sure if we'll be able to peace out with them as Israel, but we'll see how many we need to peace out with. Definitely Egypt. Okay, can afford that. Jordan can afford that. Anybody else? Yeah, lots of people. Kuwait, we're going to fight because I want their territory. Oh, we forgot about Palestine. That's okay. We can jump back and grab the parts that Italy was not able to grab. Morocco's on their way over. So now we just kind of roll through the rest of Iraq, having defeated their army at little cost to us. And we'll get Kuwait and Palestine for free. I'm going to go ahead and increase martial law. Let's get, let's go straight to an autocracy at this point. Everyone's done. Good. Let's go home and finish off Palestine as Italy took out their army. So they shouldn't have anything. No, they don't. Won't be a big get for us, but still will be a get. Then we'll turn our attention to Kuwait. Okay. Saudi Arabia has declared war on us. I don't want to fight them yet. So let's peace out with them. That's everybody done. And now we have an official way out. So let's see if anybody's really vulnerable at this point. Uh, currently, we sit as 50 GDP per capita, the 20th best GDP. So we'd love to bring that down. Who's got a really low GDP per capita that still exists? Not a lot of people. 109, 111. Hmm. I think we're going to go after, well, what's your population is a better question. Population 26, 113. I think we go after Sudan. And the reason why is we need to keep lowering our GDP per capita. 
Now we are making a good amount of money. 383 is nothing to, to snark at. But since we have a military, let's push it and just keep lowering our costs before another big country comes in and takes it away from us. He doesn't want a good GDP, wants a lower GDP per capita. Yeah, what I mean by GDP is the higher this number is, you can see we're 50, the higher this number is, the cheaper things are. You could see at the beginning of the game, when we had the 17th best, it cost 500,000 with the beginning of the game discount to get a full unit of commandos. That's ridiculously expensive. So by getting a weaker country off the board first, with a lower GDP per, cap GDP per capita it makes things cheaper for us to produce, which is why the AI always scrambles for Africa at the beginning of the game, all the European powers in the United States. And we are actually big enough to split. So let's go ahead and do that. People don't seem to mind us going into, let's peace out with you, going into Sudan as much. All right, let's go ahead and start taking you over to fight Chad and grab what we can away from them as we're finishing up Sudan. At this point, it's just about scrambling for what's left in Africa and keeping our eye out for any good opportunities that remain. Vietnam's been divided. Okay. How about South Korea? You're too strong. North Korea is too strong. Or excuse me, Japan and South Korea are too strong. Argentina, potential. Mexico, no. All right. Well, we are done on these fronts. So let's send everybody home for the time being and wait for something else to develop. We do have a pretty good army. We're the fifth strongest GDP per capita. Our GDP our fifth strongest military power our gdp is pretty weak though so we would love to grab a big target to make that number go boom but uh we'll have to kind of wait to see like saudi arabia i don't know if they're splitting or what's going on but they might be a potential and i think let's go ahead and fight lebanon down too while we're kind of waiting lebanon's not got a giant army and it's just kind of a little bit better gdp for us so might as well take them out jordan honestly let's do the same for jordan all right but that's jordan out of the way Russia's too strong and the world's kind of entered into a awkward peace. Taiwan and is too strong. What about Singapore? Eh, too strong. Okay, so I think we just chill out here, build up a military. What's our GDP per capita? 65, so we've raised a good amount. We're the 12th highest population and 19th best GDP. So we've got options. We'll just wait for a good one to pop up. India is possible, but I'd much rather have like a million commandos. So let's grab some commandos off the bat. South Korea fighting Pakistan, though. How'd that work out for you guys? South Korea is down to 3 million. That's a really good opportunity for us. Their diplomacy, because you're friends with Bulgaria, the Netherlands, Lithuania, and Italy, and Finland. I think we go after South Korea. I think that's a good target for us. Let's just make sure we don't go through Japan. Okay. South Korea. 3.95 million firepower. Let's just go straight for Seoul and start whittling them down. So army's defeated. Now we just roll through the rest of their country. China's angry at us. That's surprising. We get a peace treaty with them. What about an alliance treaty? Let's get the alliance treaty as well. And how did the, that fare with the United States? They don't care. Bulgaria's declared war on us. Hopefully we should be able to wrap up South Korea before they come over. But now we're making a thousand a tick. We've moved up just from this little bit to eighth place. So we've jumped up 10 places with this attack. Okay, let's send this army back to go deal with you guys. And this one can continue onwards over here grab the rest of their holdings on that side okay south korea is just really grabbing all this territory really annoying you guys have a military what did you buy no yeah you have a military right there it's coming towards us it's saying they don't have anything but i saw them walking through india there they are 2.5 million yeah it's a little bit of a shame that that army got caught out but that's okay how much did i lose in military power no. about 5 million that's a little bit unfortunate we, but we got a million so let's spend grab another thousand tanks out there we lost mostly commandos but changing, trading all that for South Korea is, is great. I mean, eighth best GDP, sixth best military power. We dropped one ranking in military power to move up 10 slots in GDP. Good trade my book any day of the week. Now, India is hostile to us. Let's get a peace treaty with you. No need to fight yet. And let's send everybody home. All right, but we have 10 points. Let's dump that in economic research and then start working down smart taxation, get a little bit more money going for us. Still kind of waiting around for some things to happen, looking for a little bit bigger of a military. Unfortunately, missed out on Argentina. How about Mexico? Mexico is still pretty strong. There's some fighting down here. That could be interesting because I really want to get Saudi Arabia off the table. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll turn on Saudi Arabia. This is a good moment for this. Let's just make sure we have enough tanks and rockets. We could definitely use a few more. Let's get, a, let's get a little bit more rocket artillery, and then I think we go into Saudi Arabia. I think that's a good moment. They're at a very weakened state. Now, this will probably bring in a few of the Arab League countries, but we can always peace out with them. Yep, Egypt's here right away. Peace out with you. Go away. Anybody else care? Libya is the only other one. 
Peace out with you too. And now we'll just fight down Saudi Arabia's army. Here they come. Down they fall. They peace melt us. That's fantastic. We still have about 2 million rolling around. So we'll keep our army together until that point. But we'll gain a lot of territory, a lot of population for free. I think this is their final army. Yep. And now we can split and rumble. All right. We are done with Saudi Arabia. They had some land over here in Vietnam. We are currently the sixth best GDP, third strongest military power. Things are looking very bright for us. We have 28 million. I think we're going to go home and continue our conquest into the Arab League by targeting Libya, who is really on the weak side as well. So let's gather everybody at home first. Let's also throw a point into smart taxation. And as soon as we have everybody at home, we'll be ready. We're also working on building another army. In fact, let's just tell this group to attack Libya right away. And we'll keep these people back so that we can finish up the, the regular army. We already have, already have tanks established, so this army just needs rockets and it'll be ready to rumble. Oman doesn't have any troops, though. We should go race down Oman. And let's see. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised the DRC stayed around. They must have a big friend. Brazil. That's why nobody's attacked them. But I think we can get around that. So let's send our troops down here and get ready for a war with the DRC. And we can definitely probably buy off Brazil. In fact, what would an alliance cost with you? 14000 Let's just get the alliance with Brazil. Exchange rate's at 79, so I think we lost a friend. We lost the United States. Russia's going down. Hold on. Let's see if we can rush up to Russia. Now, Japan's taking the east, which is not the most valuable land. We're taking this route around Africa because it's actually faster than walking through it. So let's uh, let's start the war with Russia. Invade the eastern or the western parts, which is the more valuable land. Split and go. There's Russia's army, or what remains of it. Belarus is also here. That's fine. We'll fight them down too. I don't imagine. Yeah, they have a pretty pitiful army themselves. So now we'll just push and grab all of Russia for free. Thanks to Japan for doing all the hard work for the least beneficial land. As we'll just kind of grab all of their sweet, sweet economy. And I super appreciate you grabbing that, but let's focus down here. Ah, Spain's here. Can we even have a shot at grabbing St. Petersburg? I don't think so. It's going to be close. Uh, we might grab it because they had the reposition. No, they grabbed it. The dogs. Now the United States is here, which is also a concern. So we need to focus on the hot spots that remain which is this section so let's really push for this this section is a little bit safer as only turkey can really grab it turkey and us and we'll just have you on rebel duty for a minute oh we've got like four million in the bank to spend we've been neglecting troops let's get these guys out there and let's get another level of smart taxation as we're dealing with all the rebels still here in russia oh frick spain's coming back okay hold on mission critical everyone just focus here Oh, big mistake opening this land up to, to Spain, especially as we might lose Moscow out of this. No, we maintain Moscow. That's good. I wasn't expecting Spain to have any armies over here. Get there. So we lost a little bit of economy. Here, you rebel defense. Spain is just taking advantage of our blunders here. They grabbed a little bit more territory than I would have liked. How much economy did we lose? A good check sunk uh check this <laughs> good section of it that's a little bit frustrating still a third best gdp though so not much to cry about but still an unfortunate and unnecessary loss germany what are you doing you're still friends with a lot of people but you and france are fighting what's france's diplomacy i mean both of them still are allied to a lot of europe but they're like fighting each other with no consequences i think france just lost they did i mean germany took a toll too but germany can now invade france okay russia's done good send everybody home France came back. Wow. Man, they really whittled themselves down to nothing. Huh? I mean, here's the thing. We could probably attack France and wipe them off their map. I just don't know if we'd be able to recover troops-wise. So I think the safer bet is just saving up and waiting for a big fish to fall. Because what are they? The 8th best GDP and the 5th. We could risk it all and grab Germany. Is Germany friends with the United Kingdom? They're like the one powerful country left. They are. What about France? Let's try it. Let's just go right here. How many rockets do we have? We have 600,000. Okay, here's my strategy. I'm going to move everybody. F, I'm going to hit 5, F2. No, or excuse me, just 5, F1. Okay. Now, with my posi troops positioned everywhere in France, we might be able to grab all of it very quickly. Let's declare war. Okay. We grabbed a good chunk of it. If, can we peace out with anyone? Italy, yes. Ireland's pretty cheap. Czechoslovakia, we can also peace out with. Oh, we're going to get France for free, you're saying? Hungary? Yes. Oh, dude. The power of Israel is that they're friends with everyone. Okay, Poland, can I get you out? Yes. Okay, so we really didn't lose anything. And we grabbed all of France. How lovely. How lovely indeed. I've never attacked a European power this early. Could we do the same for Germany? 
Maybe we attack Germany outright. Hold on. How much is an alliance with you? Three million. Maybe not Germany. It's peace treaty with France. Get everyone off, off everyone off our backs. I would love to get Germany though. Because now we're the third, we're still the third best. But let's save up a little bit. Let's get a couple million for alliances or for peace treaties and see if we can do the same into Germany. Now Germany's gonna be a little bit tougher of a task. And we can't walk in their territory, I don't think. We'll have to peace out with them first. Now we can walk in their territory, and I think we can grab a lot of Germany as well. Yeah. We can also get the third level of smart taxation. That's done. Okay, let's let's do some exploring. Germany's got a military. So we're going to need a big contingency over here. Okay, 3 million in the bank. Let's fight Germany. Now slow this down so we can get everybody. Okay, Denmark's mad at us. UK's mad at us. UK's the biggest target. We'll get them out the way first. Denmark, get you out the way too. Portugal's mad at us. Can't afford a peace treaty with Portugal. Croatia. Yes, that was 3 million though. That was dumb. Netherlands. Who is this we're fighting? Luxembourg. We'll fight you down. Greece, I would love to not fight. You want 9 million? We'll fight you. Gather everybody together. And now this is our territory. Did that move us up? No, we're still third. Now we can still grab Finland or Sweden down. So let's just continue the fight. Norway. Nope, can't buy you off. Lithuania. Yeah, I think we'll just keep pushing for this. We'll knock down the rest of the people. Now this is very expensive, so we should continue to keep buying troops. What's our GDP per capita? It's 20 now. Okay, so we need to attack some weaker targets. Things have got become a lot more expensive with this move. We're making a lot more money, but we traded off our high GDP per capita for a very bad one. So that is not good for us. Well, we finished off Germany. Let's send everybody home and start looking for a weak target who's got low GDP per capita. Now, you just grabbed Myanmar, who is kind of who I was thinking about. The DRC, that is who we're going after. Let's, in fact, head down there right now. So, so before we grab any more troops, we're going to fight down the DRC. I think their only friend was Brazil, which is why they've lived so long. We have 2.6 million in the bank, though, so we should be able to buy a peace treaty with them. So let's go ahead and engage with the DRC. And uh, we did knock down their army pretty quickly, so we can split. And did Brazil declare war on us? No, they did not. Okay, so the DRC is going to be free. The reason we chose them is they have a high population and very good GDP per capita for us. So grabbing all this... We'll bring down our prices of buying things as hopefully because 19 is very bad for us at this stage of the game. Okay, that did not do a lot for us. We're still at 20. We can get Morocco. More tenure's already been spoken for. I think we're kind of stuck here. So I think we just have to bite the bullet and accept the money that we have is a little bit more than we would like. So let's spend, send everybody home and unfortunately have to spend absorbent amount of money to get any kind of troops back a lot more than i was wanting to spend but we'll go ahead and ex just accept it at this point oh wait algeria is going down let's jump over there and i'm going to begin the the switch to fascism to get ready for the end game egypt's declared war on us i think we can peace you out yes we can Ooh, malaysia's fighting egypt this is a really good opportunity to fight down egypt let's forget about the rest of algeria and fight egypt down oh china's gonna fight here i think china's going after egypt too we gotta get touched down to get cairo reinforce reinforce Come on, give me Cairo. Freaking China. Push down. So China definitely grabbed the more valuable land. Yeah, I mean, we, we lost basically all the good parts of China, uh, of Egypt to China. Very unfortunate for us, the timing of all of this. But we still get a little bit more. I rushed out tanks and everything. Our exploitation is nowhere near ready. But with this, we'll finish up Algeria and the last member of the Arab League to exist. Well, United States, hold the phone. Peace out with you. No need to fight quite yet. Let's see. You're at 44. You're at 90. But you're both losing troops. This could be a good moment for us. All right. Send everybody home. Wait for exploitation to get all the way up. Buy a lot of troops. See if India or India, United States or China gets weak. Oh, Brazil's going down? Hold the phone. Can I get over to Brazil? Now, a lot of the good economic zones for Brazil are down here. So we still have time to get all of this. We have a very weak army. So let's split in fours. And just push through the rest of Brazil. Wonderful. Okay. Exploitation is done. Good. Let's get a lot of tanks and self-sufficient economy. Boom. First level. We only need one more. Invasion of Brazil is going good. United States has stopped theirs. We block India from grabbing more land. Portugal's invading us. Mongrels. Get out of here. All right. Send everybody home. Nice little get for us. Still need to fight eventually United States or China. United States is honestly not that strong. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I think we use this time to build up troops. United States will definitely do the same. China's fighting down Japan, though. 
This could be a real moment for us. We could just fight China here after the end of this. We need, they have a lot of tanks. How many rockets do we have? We have an equal amount, a lot more tanks. So when these two finish, we'll just use whatever money we have to build more rocket artillery. And I think we attack China. Okay, now there's 6,000 rockets. Okay, let's get ready to fight China. Now, this is a bit of a risk because so much of the world is still intact, but I don't think we can leave China this strong for any longer. And their army is divided right now, so we should be able to cut off some sections of it. Let the invasion begin. And yeah, fortunately for us, we're going to be able to piecemeal a good chunk of it. And they're down to 8 million, so it was the perfect time to strike. I'm glad we did so. Thailand's coming up to fight us. Just buy you off. Here comes the rest of China's army. And they're down to th 2 million. That might be the end of it. Yeah, that's going to be the end of it. Great. We still have 40 million, so let's go ahead and split. Is that Lesotho? It is. Lesotho's getting involved. We'll block them off or buy them off. Italy's declared war on us. Hold the phone. They grab some land. We can't defend against them. That's unfortunate. How big is this army? I mean, it's nowhere near ready to fight. Italy's going to grab some of our France holdings. How strong is their military? 7.82. This one will be strong enough when we get the army out there. But unfortunately, we're going to have to cede a lot of land to Italy for the time being. All right. I think Italy took what they wanted. So I'm going to continue fighting down China. Let's get ho close to home with this army, just in case Italy goes up again, we can counter. And we also really want Cairo, so that kind of works out. But not a big fan of them invading me. Now, the invasion over here in China is going really well. No one else is challenging us for land, so we're getting a lot of valuable land for free. And we can continue to keep recruiting another army and finish up self-sufficient economy. Great. So now we can start going down remittance. Got a big amount that we can buy a lot of tanks for. That's nice. Mexico's declared war on us. We can... 30 million to buy you off forget you brother i'd rather invest that money in tanks but we're just about finished with china we still have some a little bit down there if these guys would just split like i tell them to like you split an army like eight times and then they go okay do you want us to attack the same spot eight times and they go no and they go okay i don't know what to do then iceland's invading us buy you off you took some bits that i would like but i just want to finish up china at this point in fact we're at 60 percent united states is at 60 United States has 30 million. I think this is an excellent time to gather everybody. See if we can peace out with China. 100 million. They're real mad that we take their territory. Okay, I think we need to finish off China. No, screw that. Gather everybody. Let's push for the win here. Gather everybody at the coast of the United States near Washington, D.C. Just keep working down remittance while we're doing it too. They've got 24,000 tanks. We've got 18,000 rockets. They're fighting down Canada. Canada doesn't have any troops. All right, well, that means the army's split, so let's fight the United States at home and just start to piecemeal their army. Yeah, they're very split, so their army's going to come at us. They have 26 million, so that will be a big punch we'll have to be waiting for. But in the meantime, let's just keep grabbing land. They're down to 12. Let's go ahead and split. I think that's their army. No, well, that was a little bit of it. Turkey's coming over. Um, Can I buy you off? No, I'll have to fight you. I think that's their army. Yes, okay, so the United States is out of money. We have 75%. I think we risk it for the win. Let's splinter. And go for the win. Of course, they all splinter in directions that I don't want them in, but that's fine. Italy's invading again. I'll have to cut them down. Let's wait for this army to be ready. And then I think we deal with Italy. We're at 92% already. Never mind. I don't think we need to. 98. Ooh, 90. Okay, everyone's declaring war on us. We got to move fast. 99. I think we got it. I think we got it. There we go. Israel dominates the world after 29.48 days. I don't think that's a world record. I think for a world record, we need them to, uh, to fall. Let's go down the annoying list that for some reason is not searchable. Israel. We are the eighth best time. So we were 7,000 days behind the world record. Still happy about it. Probably could have done that a little bit faster, but we got unlucky with Russia not falling early. And I think we made the best out of our situation, but that will do it for today. So as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you for the nation recommendation. If you have a nation you'd like me to play as next, we do have a list building on screen now. Put it in the comments down below and that'll be added to the list of countries we play next. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, especially made this part of the video. If you have made this part of the video, hey, give a thumbs up for the episode a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.